You're watching Lynn TV. I'm Lucy Robson with this week's main stories. The EU and the IMF have received the Cyprus government's counter-proposals on a Troika bailout plan for the island's banks and state needs. The Troika has not yet announced a return date to the island for further talks. And record-breaking passenger traffic at Paphos International Airport was announced this week by airport operator Hermes Airports Limited. From January 1st to October 22nd this year, more than 2 million passengers travelled via Paphos International Airport, the first time such a figure has been recorded in 29 years. And a cyclist was killed on the old Paphos road near Guglia last night after being hit, then dragged along by a car. The 45-year-old was transferred to Paphos General Hospital, but pronounced dead on arrival. The driver of the vehicle tested negative for alcohol. And the trial for the murder of a woman and her daughter continued today with the verdict date postponed. The 24-year-old and her daughter were killed on Akelia Beach last December. Her partner is the prime suspect. The verdict is being postponed until further evidence is examined. And this week, British Airways announced it is to close its call centre in Nicosia by March next year as part of a restructuring programme aimed at saving money. Customers will use a local telephone number routed to an office in Germany. Finally, on Sunday, don't forget that at 4am the clocks will go back one hour for daylight savings time. Well, that's all for this week's News Roundup. Join us again on Monday for a fresh update of local news.